Hi guys, uh, welcome to our easy Monday watercolor uh, psychedelic sketching. And today I want to introduce uh, errant brushes. Uh, it's 100% uh, handmade in Korea brushes. Uh, they are very beautiful and uh, the quality is very high and that's why i want to to go uh live uh, today with the these brushes and um <clears throat> using this opportunity i will show you how to deal with your brush and how to get everything um from your brush because uh people don't like uh, don't use uh, the whole potential of the brush and use uh, only a very um, a very a few um, moments and it's a little bit uh, pity so uh, how can I uh, uh, what can I uh, advise uh, how to go with a, a brush so I uh, picked this brush and uh, this is a long brush and it's very light it's very light and it's very nice and uh, this is um, uh, this is a uh, long uh, hair and if uh, we wet the brush we will see uh, what this brush can can give us so we can uh, achieve some special effects uh, with uh, grass or uh, with uh, f uh, f um, uh, animal hair or something like that. Uh, but what what have I done? I made a um, watercolor abstraction using only this one brush. And uh, can you see uh, these strokes? And uh, it's only done, the whole th painting is done only with this uh, single brush. And uh, this is uh, the way how you can um, get familiar with your art supplies, uh, do your research and uh, try and test everything. Um, because if you, if you uh, go only with this, only dipping, or using your brush uh, like this, it's it's very uh, little um, potential because it's not uh, the whole amount of possibilities that this brush or every brush can offer you. So please use it like this, uh, like this, and don't um, he hesitate to go deep uh, to to use the whole. Um, range of possibilities of every single brush okay come coming back to to the brushes um, what what can I say uh, it's a high professional um, watercolor brushes and uh, always uh, handmade with a high quality and uh, I like also this overview because uh, it says what kind of series uh, it is and uh, for what kind of uh, material is it um, useful you can use it for water oil and acrylic and here uh, it's the level of water absorption shown low medium or excellent this is um, what kind of uh, brushes um, yeah, hair do you have in this brush and uh, elasticity here handle size in a uh, millimeter uh, and um, the hair uh, size yes so and uh, it's very uh, good uh, uh, magazine catalog and um, it's a lot uh, the whole range is shown here uh, there are some uh, very small handle it's a uh, 12 uh, centimeter and uh, we have also uh, it's I think it's uh, this uh, length uh, with um, uh, 250 millimeters so 25 centimeter this handle size 
and um, uh, this is also very large I have uh, two of them and uh, the thing is uh, it has a very sharp point uh, every brush has a very sharp point and this is very important to have a sharp a sharp point um, for uh, your watercolor art supplies so it's um, a good brush uh, can give you a sharp point at any time and um, yeah and don't lose uh, the hair and this is a synthetic you can see here it's a synth synthetic uh, it's a uh, high elas elastic it, it takes uh, medium water for it's, uh, it's normal for synthetic because it it's uh, the um, main characteristic of synth synthetic to not to uh, take or keep or hold a lot of um, water but a lot of pigment and you can also use it for watercolor and for acrylic so these brushes are, are also with a mm, mini handle but i have it uh, in in this large it's a new format for me uh, this uh, large uh, uh, handle but i think it's okay because uh, i enjoy it meanwhile because um, it's very light it's not um, it, it's it's not difficult to keep or to hold uh, this uh, brush in the hand so let's move on we have also here <coughs> travel brushes i don't have any travel brush uh, uh, of uh, herent but it's also okay i have different uh, travel brushes but uh, we have here two series uh, it's um, a squirrel squirrel and a weasel or kolinsky so um after that we are moving to flat brushes and i have flat brushes so here um, it's uh, it's uh, two brushes of a uh, hundred fifty mil uh, uh, let's say fifteen uh, centimeter and uh, in opposite of it we have a handle handle of uh, ten ten uh, centimeter uh, longer but I prefer a really a short handle because I don't know I like it but it's uh, nevertheless it's also interesting to have uh, this uh, long uh, handle okay <clears throat> what what can i so, uh, take uh, what can i uh, tell you about these brushes it's um, uh, f flat 1000 and this is a uh, flat uh, one, 1000 and uh, 100 so this flash is all, uh, brush is also useful for acrylic and contains medium uh, water absorption option but this is excellent water absor um, absorption what what can i say this flat brush is uh, very interesting because uh, it allows you to have also a very sharp uh, line so you can use it like this okay let's let's demonstrate a little bit um or oh, let me let me show you uh, you can make it like this okay but it's also here very sharp and very Thing. you can you can do even s such a strokes and it's very very tiny very thin uh, and it's amazing because if I take uh, let's say it's a uh, Winsor & Newton brush and let me do the same I don't get this tiny line I don't get it <clears throat> so let's uh, continue 
with our overflow. So <clears throat> we have uh, here also uh, gold. I don't have it. Um, so and what's very nice, it's uh, Herent has uh, uh, all own um, line with uh, brushes for uh, mas uh, masking um, uh, masking uh, fluid because uh, no, uh, normally uh, it's very dangerous to use uh, common brushes or very uh, high quality brushes for dipping into masking uh, fluid because it would uh, damage uh, the f uh, hair and um, yeah and um, uh, there is a life hack uh, how to protect your brush if you uh, let's assume it's a soap and you soap your brush and after that you dig it into your masking fluid and after that uh, you can protect your um, brush with masking fluid uh, with a uh, soap of, uh, uh, and uh, masking fluid uh, could couldn't disturb your brush but this uh, this brush is um, designed or developed uh, only for masking fluid and i think it's very nice idea because to have these uh, brushes uh, separately and to give uh, them also the name masking brush and a uh, different color uh, it's a very easy to find uh, the um, brush that you need and uh, to go quick with it and uh, I think it's a very good idea and very good product uh, and uh, to have this masking brush for only for masking fluid um, anyway what uh, is uh, something special here uh, it's uh, here this series uh, with um, this kind of a uh, cat tongue um, uh, shape i have uh, three brushes and i i don't know if it's uh, look at this sharp point it's very sharp and it's uh, size number three size number two and size number one and they have very sharp point per definition so let's say i dig it into water and it comes like this but even now let's assume it's full with pigment but this sharp point is here and you don't have to to do something look at this sharp point it's very sharp and it's amazing it's amazing so and what uh what want do i want you to show you uh, is a special serious serious brush is a very interesting um is unique brush and uh, this is um the this is here the area of these two brushes i have brush number six and i have brush number uh, three called mini it's um, very uh, tiny and it's synthetic and uh, it uh, can take a lot of water it's on um it's useful for watercolor and oil and what is the special um uh, why are they unique let me show you I painted some abstraction, abstractions and so let me show you this is uh, the end this is here uh, without any this area is without any um, uh, white area so I uh, there is no white uh, you know, I don't know reflection I tested this brush and made this white or uh, at least uh, light li lighter area 
let me show you how it works so what do you need to do it to wet your brush and not to uh, clean up uh, or to uh, take uh, less uh, water and go into this area and erase erase the pigment do you see this how it comes it's eraser brush do you see here this white area uh, not white but light lighter area you can do do uh, these things very easy using this brush okay the, uh, there is um, another uh, brush too with this uh, feature and you can make uh, bigger lines with this brush uh, but if you if you say okay it's uh, also possible to do uh, this kind of uh, erasing effects with any uh, synthetic brush okay let's uh, test it it's a uh, no name synthetic brush and let's uh, try to do it like this but do you see it's not the same result and it's not this speed and it's not very white it's yeah i don't know because you can create uh, cre uh, achieve uh, these results very quickly very quickly and not destroying your watercolor it's um your uh, your uh painting okay let's go also this away because we have this uh, dark uh, stroke here and let's do an eye catcher here i'm very excited about uh, this effect how it is possible to uh, create an um, I don't yeah I don't remember these words now <laughs> so and if uh, I think uh, we are ah, I want to uh, give you uh, advice so if you uh, get uh, new brushes it comes to you with protected and uh, like a uh, glue uh, like a glue um, uh, it's gum, 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 gummy arabic i suppose and uh, to get this brush um, um, ready please don't uh, do this like dipping into the uh, glass with your water but only uh, go to to the uh, kitchen and under warm water fl uh, fl fl fluent water uh, make it like this because if you dip into into the glass of water you will destroy your sharp point and please don't do this please don't do this um please never do do, do uh, like this and don't disturb your brush and uh, sharp point so and uh, what uh, do I want to show you also how how to get everything from your brush let's assume you have uh, this brush um, and why do you need this brush this brush has also a very sharp point but it's not only to do this like R1 line. Let me show you. So this brush is able to, to do like very tiny lines, but this brush is not about only tiny lines. This brush is about variety. This brush is about different effects. Uh, please use your brush. Uh, Go, go with your brush and don't uh, hesitate or oh, I maybe disturb my brush if I I will do uh, such a strokes no 
but you will get get an experience uh, uh, please um, get your brush now and all the opportunities and all the possibilities that your brush offers you because i like to paint with uh, this uh, shape and because if i make uh, let me show you on different page if i make i can make i can make different effects with only one brush uh, mo moving of of my brush i can i can do different things and it's all about having fun and let my brush done dance and yes it's very funny to to have this experience it's it's like exercise to know what can your brush offer offer you uh, so and i think <laughs> this uh, it's it's like a ready abstraction <laughs> it's like uh, one ab ab abstraction paint painted uh, and it how I create every ex uh, abstra abstraction uh, from uh, my uh, um, it's like a mind flow I don't have a plan how to go uh, with these uh, strokes and it's I let things go and then accept everything that uh, happens okay but um, I think um, it was everything what I wanted to show you uh, uh, with regards to new brushes and uh, to this amazing um, uh, quality and let's move to our uh, sketching part and let's sketch some brushes. I will go with my favorite um, shape. I will sketch this brush and I will sketch this brush, I think. And okay, I will sketch also this, um, this brush. Okay, let's try. Uh, I will sketch in my Max Goods uh, in my Max Goods sketchbook. Okay. So. And I will use uh, my uh, watercolor, um, my my Lamy with waterproof uh, ink. And let's decide how can we or what do we want to to show and how can what we how can we um, do with our yeah okay it's not problem. This brush is still wet, but never mind. Um, do we want to add more things? Because I want it looks good. Um, let let's start. Oh, I will go. I will. I will go for this. Okay. So, uh, what do I want? So I can, if I have this here in my hand, I can do it like this. And yeah, so I will start. Uh, do you see me? Okay, this is my brush. And I am not worried, I'm don't worry about uh, is everything how it should like looks like uh, I, I never mind about this and so it's my first brush 
my second brush would be this brush with uh, my favorite shape. So. And I have this middle of a sketchbook and I'm not hesitating uh, to go over and to paint over because mm, I want to have this page as, as, as a whole. I want to consider this page as a whole um, area and space. And if I would mind, skip this or mind, mind this, if I want to escape this uh, middle, it would be very, very weird and the third shape is this so um and uh, let's let outline me again i'm not here i'm not talking about real Re realism realistic painting i'm talking about about having having fun so what do we see we see here in the real um, life it's black and it's brown but i don't want to use black because black is is black and uh, it's not very nice to uh, have things black what what can i do I can use for my black another color let's say it's violet and my violet is a new black <laughs> so and for example we don't understand now that is um, that is here shape of uh, four yeah what can we do we can take our flat brush and we can remove pigment S since it's still wet so we can move we can do it like this and now we understand what it is now we understand okay it's uh, it's our brush what can we do uh, as next point is to let this to let these colors go to, to in, in in each other and to flow so and okay for me it's a little bit dark here and I don't want let it like gouache but I, I want to have here more transparency, transparency in order to show it's made or it's painted or sketched with watercolor and not with opaque color so and we could let it, let it here dry but let's assume we have this size side is our um it's our sh shadow side so we could show a little bit de depth with showing here the shadow and also I don't like it like don't here and I wet and it flows and it shows okay it's watercolor and it's not something different so we can go further to, to, to another uh, brush and to continue with this logic uh, using 
using violet in order to, sh to show uh, the hair again we have a very a very dark things here but let's pretend it's like fair and here this area is very um, this area is very um, light what can we do we can stay with our honey it's very dark and intensely we can stay with our violet but let things um, we have to add some dark area and to go with this so and again I sketch it not to get very realistic uh, very realistic view ah, okay this brush is not uh, so dark as here so we have to use um, let's say Rosiena for this brush and using only one single stroke I created the brush because I choose uh, the right tool for for this for this part and let's add also here shadow to our brush and let's let them flow so it's everything is allowed and i think uh, it's okay to have fun and we move to the next um, to the last brush I can let the definition small white areas here and it's anyhow understandable that this is brush let's do it again here okay it's and uh, now I'm, I'm aware of this kind of brush it's not very useful at this stage so oops but it's it's not a problem to get everything fixed why what, what is was this problem because I had a lot of water on my page and also on my brush and that's why it was uh, very let's say fluent here very overfloating now we have we can do here texture of hair also here we can do it I like this texture is here it's very visible what have we done and we can continue with this so and again our brush is not uh, very dark so we can go with this go with this and can go at shadow so and we can 
let this shadow off. Okay, it's too much, but what? How can we deal with it? Only dipping our paper tissue, and it's okay. What can we do? Uh, also, is to make um. So for this purpose I need to have a synthetic brush and to go like this and we will wait a little bit till everything is dry and after that oh, we will add uh, this hair and, and references of the brush with my ink. And what can we, assuming everything, I use only three colors. It's violet, uh, raw sienna and burnt sienna. And I created three uh, brushes. And I think it's about how to get everything from your art supplies and not to collecting them because I have a lot of art supplies but uh, for one sketch uh, you need at least three colors or you are able to to make something um, special using only one color everything uh, everything is possible and it's not about uh, how many art supplies do you have but it's about what do you use and how do you use them so uh it's okay it's it's not uh <laughs> dirty hands but it's okay for me i don't i don't do oh i spoiled everything it's everything is in your mind and it's about having fun and not to be uh, camera camera because if you want to have something exactly what what do you see please use your camera uh, and and everything will be fine with you and so you can save your <laughs> nose <laughs> short flat brush so it's done and i want to sh show you i don't i don't know what can you see it uh, this letter d uh, d a b c d this letter d is made like a pin a brush so it's handle and it's like uh it's fun fun fact i think it's very nice because you see how how um, how did, uh, yeah, I see this uh, the love to details details uh, of uh, manufacturer and it's everything it's very very nice so let's continue uh, it was number two and let's continue here um, and uh, the last brush is number three and so here it's called flower brush but I think you are able to paint everything with it I painted uh, with this uh, shape uh, one painting, one abstraction and it takes part on an uh, international exhibition and uh, it was not a flower. <laughs> so, um, it's, uh, everything is possible but I think... Um, yeah. So um, if you don't have any questions I will wrap up I think it was a very productive uh, live stream where I showed you how to deal with your brushes and uh, how to sketch them and uh, not uh, assuming everything have to be 
uh, such realistic uh, such uh, as possible uh, but it's not about reali realistics um, it's about sketching it's about uh, catch your impressions of um, some things so uh, I think uh, I think uh, yeah, thank you very much I will save this um, live stream on my IGTV and I will upload this on YouTube if you have a further question please don't hesitate and ask me DM me or leave a comment and uh, see you next Monday bye